Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Potato, and welcome back to our channel. Jingle bells, jingle bells, sing for me, baby. Baby. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I'm back from a long, long weekend where, I don't know, I mean, I guess I don't know why I'm so surprised that Amberly keeps putting out these long-ass daily vlogs. I guess it's really just because even when she was only posting like every other day, she sometimes like struggled to put out like 10 minute videos, right? So now that she's posting every single day, I guess I'm just a little taken aback that she has somehow come up with like 20 to 30 minutes of content for every day. As always on Mondays, well not as always, but what I've been doing on Mondays for the December months is doing recaps of some of the videos and then reacting to the most recent one, usually the Sunday vlog. And that's what we're gonna do today. So as always, I will leave some timestamps down below. So if you don't wanna listen to the recap and you only wanna listen to the reaction or whatever it might be, you can skip ahead to wherever best suits your needs. But we are gonna get into it real quick because honestly, truly, I, there's a lot to cover and I just don't have the time. Well, I do have the time, but. <laughs> you know, I want to choose how I'm spending my time wisely. You know what I'm saying? So let's get started with the recap. The first video that she posted was posted on Friday and it was called We Went in a Cave. Full day of eating and Christmas shopping. Tree Vlogmas day nine. I'm also drinking a little coffee as we're here because why not? It's cold in Chicago. I have coffee to drink. I do like to drink my coffee out of big old bowls like this. So don't judge me, okay? I love a big, a big, big, big mug. What do you know about liking a big mug? Okay, stop, this isn't about me, let's get into it. So, the first thing that I wanna make note of in the, the cave video is she got like $150 worth of scratch off tickets, nearly creamed herself again. Baby? So I'm addicted. Literally go to TikTok.com, okay? Get the app, okay? There are these people, <laughs> so many. But first of all, thank you, babe. <laughs> You're welcome, baby. What? There's these people who buy a whole book of scratchers and they'll sit on TikTok live streams and scratch them. Thousands of people will watch them. They'll sit there and they get like money for doing it and then they get to go buy more scratch offs. And it's just like, I've been obsessed with just sitting there and watching them. And to be fair, I've said in videos, I also enjoy watching people do scratch offs on TikTok and whoever, whatever. So no judgment there. Yeah, it just also seems like a lot. That's like a huge gift. Like, it's just wild to me that her and, her and wifey just have all this money to just spend on each other. But then, like, she's stressed out about being able to pay for weight loss surgery. Again, it's like the budgeting stuff that I don't understand. There's obviously some places you could cut some quarters. Obviously, get what you want and live your truth. It's just like, don't come and complain about not being able to afford weight loss surgery when all you show us is your lavish spending. And I also just want to briefly talk about how she doesn't think that she's the kind of person who could get addicted to gambling. And I know people are about to say, you're gonna get addicted to gambling. Trust me, I don't have that in me. I don't, I just don't have that addiction. I don't have that want or anything like that. I just know that people always turn even things that I enjoy into something negative and I know that's what's gonna happen. Really, Amberlynn, you who has talked so much about how just addiction in general runs in your family, how that relates to your food addiction, which I think is all relatable, understandable, and I definitely, like, I'm not faulting you for, but like you have talked extensively about addiction in your family and also your addiction to food and or all the other things that we see that you're clearly like at least somewhat addicted to. I mean, you're literally worried about getting addicted to many brands, okay? You you said that like recently that you didn't want to buy too many of them because it could get addicting and you'd be spending a lot of money on stuff you didn't need. Like you literally already enjoy spending your money frivolously on things you don't need. Like what makes you think you couldn't get addicted to scratch off tickets and gambling? Honestly, we'll come back to that in the next video we're recapping because there's more to say about it, but we're going to keep going chronologically 
logically. So at some point she also acknowledges that this is a full day of eating and besides literally the leftover chili and cornbread that she eats at the very beginning of this video, every single order is a takeout order and I just like, I thought we had gotten out of the takeout phase but it's clear like ordering takeout is in full force. And I also want to note that she orders two cookies from Jimmy John's so that she can eat them later when she's craving sweets. And she does say that she ends up giving one to Feline. But it's just also like, isn't that the purpose of why you bought that huge ass box of Weight Watchers snacks? Like you said that you were trying to live the best of both worlds. You're trying to balance it and like have something quote unquote healthy, but still sweet. So why'd you get all those Weight Watchers snacks if all we're gonna do is order some cookies anyways? like. <laughs> Like, I mean, like, eat your cookies if you want. I'm just trying to understand the logic. And because Amber Lynn is now a piss and shitting and farting channel, we get to see her pee on the toilet. Um, I actually have to go pee. Uh, I'll be right back. Am I peeing on camera? Is that allowed? But otherwise, the main part of this video was her and wifey going through this cave in Louisville, Kentucky, which like she also struggled to say that word. I'm like, you literally live in Kentucky. I can't believe you don't know how to say that without people getting angry at you. But also, uh, she she goes to this cave thing in Louisville with, with old wifey and they drive through and there's lights and things like that. And honestly, truly, probably the most interesting thing I guess she's done in a while on her channel. Like, I'll give her kudos to that. It's like, it did switch it up a little bit, especially considering most of uh, Vlogmas up to this point has just been her opening up toys and playing with them <laughs> and things like that. So, like, kudos to her. But it does make me think a little bit about how Becky always wanted to go exploring caves and, and going to parks and stuff like that, and Amber Lynn obviously couldn't or didn't want to. And granted, this is a little bit different because Homegirl didn't have to get out of the car to do this. She just had to sit in one place. But also, it feels like a lot for her to take this long trip after she's talked about before how, like, long car rides make her swell and gain water and all of that too. I don't know, I just had a lot of questions about it, but I am glad that she went and did something fun outside of the house that wasn't just like a shopping trip or something like that. So thanks for switching it up a little bit, I guess, Amberlynn. I mean, I didn't find it all that interesting, but I feel like you did try. And that's all I really have to say about that episode, video, situation type of deal that she posted. So the next video is called, We Bought a House, Let's Talk About My Body, and Huge Torrid Hall. Tree Vlogmas Day 10. So yeah, we come back to the old scratch off situation type of deal and find out that she won $89. And she's also having troubles deciding if she wants to get more scratchers with the $89 she won. I'm just trying to decide, do I want to keep the $89 or do I want to get more scratchers? <laughs> So it's fine, y'all. She's definitely not gonna get addicted, but is already contemplating using her earnings to go buy more of the scratch-off tickets that she's worried or not worried about, I guess I should say, getting addicted to. So she's totally, definitely not gonna get addicted to scratch-off tickets, not at all. Uh, that's totally unreasonable to think that that might be a possibility for what will happen with Amber Lynn in her relationship with scratch-off tickets. The Christmas present for today is a collection of hot sauces for wifey, which woo! We also get to see her order a DIY snow kit or something. It's like this powder that you add water to and then it makes like a snow texture. I guess that's interesting enough. I, I She's not doing anything to make people think <laughs> that she's not doing this child regression thing, which we will get into more. But first we gotta talk about this goddamn tour and all. Them goddess bucks are coming in handy, I guess. Our queen of budgeting has it all figured out buying all of these things, shirts, dresses, etc., that we'll probably never see her wear. We'll maybe see her wear one out of the like 10 garments she got. She even said on some of them, I doubt this will even fit. So why did you buy it? I we know you're not going to return it. You know, sometimes it, people do that, right? Like they, they order a size, they're not sure it's going to fit but they try it on and then a lot of these sites have like pretty good return policies so that you can just send it back easily. But we know she doesn't do that. It's all gonna end up going to Goodwill. 
I mean, it used to be Dana, but now it'll be the Goodwill taking this on. And again, truly buy whatever you want, but this is a girl that we have to frequently hear talk about how she's worried about not being able to afford other things, and I'm just so tired of torrid hauls of clothing that she's never gonna wear. She's also apparently feeling like sheer is her style, like every single shirt had sheer on it. And then she also made a claim that people don't like it when she does try on hauls. I know some people don't really care for try on videos. For some reason they say, you're just trying to show off your body. Bro, let me exist as a human. Like showing off my body, I should be allowed to do that. I should be allowed to put my body in thumbnails. I should be allowed to show my body in my videos. I should be allowed to exist as a human being. Which I think is a little bit of a stretch. I think she's conflating people getting upset about her clickbaiting her body and like thumbnails and things like that and conflating it with just like the concept of try on hauls. Cause like from my general recollection, there actually used to be a time where people got upset because she didn't do try on hauls. And I think the general consensus, this is just my read on the situation, is that more people would prefer that she do try on hauls because one, if you're actually interested in like, compare, like if you have a body type like Amber Lynn, right? And you are looking to see how clothes fit on people similar to your body type, you're gonna wanna see them try it on. And I've watched a lot of like, try on hauls from both plus, skinny, whoever, whatever sizes. And the, the trying on is like the most important part of those types of videos because you want to hear from the creator how it fits, what's the quality of the material, things like that. So when she doesn't do all of that stuff, it's clear that all she's really there to do is buy some shit and show it on camera. Now when it comes to people saying she's clickbaiting her body, I think honestly, truly, the reality is is that she does because she knows it gets views. I mean, you can look at her thumbnails and see that she intentionally picks some thumbnails that she knows people will click on. And she's allowed to do that, able to do that. It's, it checks out for me, what, like get your views, get your clicks, whoever, whatever. But don't conflate that with saying people don't want to see you try on stuff. And also don't say that like skinny people don't get accused of that same thing. Like I have seen people talk about Eugenia Cooney doing it. I think across the board, people are always critical of YouTube content creators of clickbaiting stuff on thumbnails and or like purposely doing situation types of deals to like weirdly showcase their body. Now the buying of the house part of this title was really just in reference to this large paint by number gingerbread cardboard box situation type of deal. And she jokes about child regression while getting it out and putting it together or whatever. Child regression. Child oh, regression. regression Your aggression too, baby? Yeah. I love that for us. And I, you know, I feel like I've been pretty consistent. Like if you want to play with toys as an adult, do what you got to do, do what you want to do. I mean, I play video games, which some people think's childish. I have a collection of Furbies which I'm sure some people think is either weird or childish. Like, I think everybody has their thing. I know people, adults who play with Legos, it's not the end of the world, okay? It's really not. But she seems to not be able to understand why people think it's so suspicious, weird, strange that all she does is play with toys. Cause like literally, let's think about just even Vlogmas as an example. Almost every single thing she's done on her channel has been some relation to something that people would associate with children doing outside of like going to the cave. And in reality, like most of Amberlynn's viewers are probably around her age. And most people who are in their thirties don't have the luxury of sitting around and playing games all day or playing to with toys and stuff like that. And so what she's seeing is that people aren't relating to her content. Like it's not relatable to them. That's not something that your average 30 year old can watch and be like, yeah, I see myself in that content. Like most 30 year olds are focused on like going to work, progressing their career, taking care of a family. And, and that's just not the content they're getting with Amberlynn, which is maybe on them, honestly. Like maybe if you're looking for relatable content, the Amberlynn's channel is not for you. But either way, neither Amberlynn's playing with toys or like other 30 year olds like pursuing 
their careers and lives and families and things like that. Neither of those are intrinsically right or wrong. It's just that Amberlynn probably needs to understand that most people aren't going to be able to relate to her playing with toys. And there's not a whole lot more interesting that happens. I mean, Amberlynn gives this PSA that her and wifey have been asleep, taking a nap for three hours, and that she looks really rough. Hi. So in this next clip, I want to make it very well known that Felina and I just woke up from a three-hour nap, and I am looking rough. So I want to do a taste test. But she looks the same to me, besties. And also, if anything, it's just proving that she still isn't actually taking makeup off before she goes and sleeps or takes a nap or whatever it might be. And I was a little sus because she didn't bring up the, the Weight Watchers during the full day of eating in the last video, but she did finally bring it up while eating some shrimp chips, which are delicious, by the way, as somebody who also doesn't like shrimp. Um, although she says she doesn't like shrimp and like totally forgets shrimp gate, so I don't know what that was about either. Honestly, truly. <laughs> but she does finally bring it up when she looks up how many points are in the chips, although it doesn't look like she's like actively trying to count or measure how many shrimp chips she's eaten. But yeah, that's that. I mean, I obviously am not going to go over every single detail of all the advent calendars and things like that, but those were those two videos in a nutshell. Which brings us to today's reaction, which is to the video she posted on Sunday, and it's called Lipedema is Getting Worse. Girlfriend gives me a makeover and shopping slash haul tree. Vlogmas Day 11. And I'm curious about the lip edema getting worse thing because I'm just, you know, recalling that uh, her lip edema specialist gave her some specific guidelines, instructions, suggestions for managing her lip edema and that was keto and she's obviously not doing that and didn't really follow up with like what are some other things that I can do? So here we are. <laughs> here we are. Let's get to, let's get to, shall we? This is 30 minutes long and, and I'm hoping I can cut a lot of it out because it's a very long video, but let's get to, let's get to. Hey guys. Hi. This is Vlogmas day 11. Jingle bell, jingle bell. <laughs> Sing for me, baby. Baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> Wow, my favorite number is one. Wow. Today's the day 11 of Vlogmas, so let's hope for a good Vlogmas day. It is so dark in here. Has her favorite number always been one? I know that's so silly for me to stop and ask about, but I'm just curious. I, my favorite number is four in case anybody's asking or wondering, or multiples of four. I, I do love a multiple of four, 12, 16. Great numbers, great numbers. I used to be a math major, I don't know if you knew that. I'm about to change that though. Oh look, the, house, light. the house is all set up. All my torrid from of, yesterday's vlog of course, on the couch. Of course you do, and it'll probably continue to sit there if not get moved to the, the bathroom sink. I was thinking, what if we paint it? You probably, know, folks. you probably should paint it. She was talking about whether or not they should do it with, with markers or crayons, but uh, crayons, you're going to break your little crayons doing all that. And markers, you're going to run out of ink real fast. You need some, some thick ass paint. Options are endless. So Feline is going to be doing my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Work. So I brought out all my makeup. Work. This is just like standard stuff. Wow. And That's some like old school YouTube stuff. Having your partner do your makeup. I love it. Let's fucking go. Few eyeshadow palettes. So she has the option to use some. Okay. So these are on the floor. This is from my haul yesterday and I forgot to pick them oh up. Oh my God. Thankfully, I have smart kitty cats and doggo who knows not to mess with stuff like that. I don't, okay, so. sure, sure, I'm glad, but you never, as somebody who just went through this situation <laughs> where Post of Doodle Doo decided to eat parts of his dog bed and I didn't even realize or notice it, you, you, you can't trust dogs and cats with that. If you knew you dropped those things, <laughs> why didn't you just pick them up, bestie? Like, she was really just asking for people to get upset that she included that in there. Like, I don't know why she even left that in there, but I'm sure people are upset about it. And I already even told her, uh, I can't tell her what any of it is used for. 
I already done told her I can't tell her what any of it is used for. I'm just gonna leave it all sitting out here in a heap of a trash pile of, of makeup so she can pick and choose what she wants. So, whatever she does is what she does. And you wanna know something? Last night, I used my last sheet paper towel. What is it called? My last thing of makeup remover. So, it better look good, girl, because <laughs> I have no more makeup remover. I actually have to go get some today, I think. This is me just putting all my makeup on the table, but I'm gonna do it a little bit more cohesive, so. Yeah. She doesn't. How, how would that even be helpful to her? <laughs> you may as well have left it all in a fucking bag. Okay, so I think that is organized a little bit better. Are you ready, baby? I'm ready. Baby. <laughs> Wait, should we baby, are you ready? Are you ready, baby? I have a little Christmas pillow, like, for aesthetic. Fa la 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 la. Oh. All right, you don't yes. get any hints. Thank I don't get to tell you anything. Thank you so much for the aesthetic. It added so much to the video. You just put where you put where you think where it should go. So far, she's doing it right. I thought you weren't gonna give any hints. Why are you telling her she's doing it right? Just let her do it. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> I need them to stop. Am I close enough? Yes, baby. Okay. It's just, you look so good today. It's just so, I just like don't understand. Like, uh, even Noel and I, we do have a pet name, right? <laughs> like, I do call Noel Beebs. Like, but I'm not constantly going, Beebs, Beebs, oh, Beebs. I'm not ending every sentence that I'm talking to him with the word Beebs, okay? I'm just not. So, like, why does every sentence have to end with baby? Thank you, Mommy. M-A-M-I. Mm, -I. <laughs> not like, Daddy, Mommy, can I go to the, the gift store? The <sighs> gift store? I don't know. Is that what kids be asking? I guess. This is like, what's up, mommy? <laughs> I need to go to sleep. I need to go back to sleep. He needs something. <laughs> need some I need something I need a little Kahlua to put in this or some Baileys I need something because this is too fucking much this is not how normal people react in relationships this shit is so in inauthentic insincere the face you're making oh She's going <laughs> You know what would be great? First of all, that little squeal was so much. But also, you know what would be great if I could just see her face to begin with. I don't need your recreation of it. Everyone does it different. So you might be a different I love, one. So do I you love, know much about makeup? I love the girlies that store their, their phones and their, their boobulas. Oh, we're already off to a bad start. <laughs> Babe, you're an artist. Baby. Baby. Baby, yeah. baby what did you do to my eye? Okay. I'm nervous. Don't be nerves. Don't be nerves. Yeah, it's going to be a rough day. I'm not going in public like this. You're not going in public in general. <laughs> it's fine. What, to the, to the Walmart? I think you'll be okay. There's probably not too many people at Walmart that are going to be... Caring about your makeup, bestie. Oh, ma'am. What did you do? What is this little... What is this thing you're doing? Baby, what? This is not... Okay, it's beautiful. Bestie, you better... You gave her no guidance. You better just let her do whatever the fuck she wants to your face, which maybe she does, but uh, let her put the makeup on the way she wants. You're welcome. What color are you using? Mono. Let me see. So she's using this one on the Revolution, Makeup Revolution London palette. Here's the thing about this whole segment. I've had almost nothing to say. Like, you know, the thing, I mentioned that this used to be like the trend on YouTube, especially for like booty guru people, uh, people who do makeup and stuff like that the trend was to have your partner do stuff. And like the thing that always made those things so fun was to see not necessarily, I mean like you could get a giggle out of like the bad makeup at the end, 
But the fun thing was to see how like these these beauty guru people or even just like vloggers that did it, how they interacted with their partners when we didn't sometimes get to see them do that that often, you know? And it just like because there's what feels like no chemistry, maybe there is off camera, but it, since there's nothing that feels like genuine chemistry, it's just like awkward and uncomfortable to watch because like we're watching bad makeup be done and we're watching two people who are awkward and cringe when they interact with each other. She's looking at the eyeshadows again. What could possibly, my eyes aren't that big babies. What could possibly? Just, just trust me here. <clears throat> okay, I'm trusting you. Just trust me here. Are you using, wait, what? Okay, what color are you using? Oh, she's using Bestie on the Profusion Pro Pigment eyeshadow palette for my eyes, for my, I can't even talk. Are you <laughs> what are these called? <laughs> Eyebrows. <laughs> I forgot what they were called. <laughs> okay. I have heard of people doing this before. <clears throat> <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the eyebrows are sending me a little bit. Like I'm, I'm leaving the planet. I'm leaving the plant, going to Pluto. <laughs> the eyebrows are sending me. As somebody who has blonde eyebrows that you can't really see, I, you know, the struggle is real. Actually, if you want to go way back on my channel, I got like an elf eyebrow kit once. Like this was way at the beginning of my channel when people didn't really even know who I was. And I tried using it to give myself eyebrows. And it was, I feel like I just look better without them. But I, people all the time want Amber Lynn to put like any kind of effort into her eyebrows. They all say it would make her like face look better. But this isn't it. <laughs> this isn't it. Oh. The, Ooh, and, I don't know if I should have made this a thing. Yeah, I don't know either. And also they say that like eyebrows don't necessarily have to be sisters, but at least like cousins or something, you know, the, these people, these eyebrows are not related. I don't know what the real thing is. I've just heard like drag queens say it that I follow, but you know what I'm saying? Like these two eyebrows don't even look related to one another. Mm, what you just said it was a thing. Like why does, <laughs> why, why do they look like different shapes? It's something funny. No, 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 baby, you count it. Uh, <laughs> I'm counting it. Why is this one this... Did you dip it in the wrong color? And they do feel like different colors, too. I think that's the other thing that's throwing me off. So one's dark and one's light? No. Then why is this one... Bestie, what? you said you were gonna give her no guidance, so let her do whatever she wants to your face. Leave her... If she wants one to be lighter than darker, th then let her do it. Let's just let it be a look. Yes. Thing, Thank you. Oh, yeah, this could be something. Let go of control. Release control. Release your wiggles, I think is what the Beyonce song says. Okay. That's it? I think I'm done. You think? No, I know I'm done. Okay. This is it then. So Th this is <laughs> this is the finished product. Cool, 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 cool. Great. Lovely. I we spent 13 minutes doing this? It's at 1317 on the screen right now. Whew. You know? <sighs> I appreciate, I just want to like, uh, I don't want to discourage her from doing like new interesting things. I think I just really, the like interaction between wifey and Amber Lynn is just really rough for me. It's real tough. It's like, what? Where? where is the chemistry? I don't know. And maybe it'd be different if we could see wifey fully on screen. You know, I do think that could impact things. Because then we could, we could see body language. We could see some more of that interaction. Like, maybe her facial expressions. So I do think, like, that's some aspects of communication, right, that we're losing out on here. But none of this... Like, and none of it feels authentic, you know? I'm not saying they don't love each other. I'm saying that it feels like they're putting on, like, what they think. They're acting like what they think is a, a couple in love. And maybe there's aspects of it that are, are genuine, but it is just... 
Splenda fake to me, besties. And I love Splenda. Lo don't get me wrong. I, I literally got Splenda in the coffee, okay? So it's fine. It's whatever. I'm just... That was a rough 13 minutes. I hope we can move on now. I hope we can. You did great, baby. You forgot the mascara. Oh, That's okay. No, no, no. I'm no. Do the okay, fine. So we're not I done. Did. Wait, I love my lips when they're. I don't love your lips. They don't. Poker out. I, I think they. Sense. I think they need like a gloss or something. They're missing something. Yep. Don't think it's better than sex, but. Oh boy. Okay. What do Wait, you want I'm to sorry. Do? What? I was taking a drink of coffee. I think I missed that. What about better than sex? Poker out. Other than sex, two-faced. You? Don't think it's better than sex, but... Oh, boy. Okay, what do you want me to... Spoiler alert! These two adult women have sex, in case you didn't know. They they have sex. Okay, I think we have a full-face makeup. So this is it? This is the final product, this baby? This is the final look. Are we finally done, for real now, this time? This is the first time you've ever done makeup. First time I've ever done makeup. Wow! Wow! Yeah, for makeup tips. Hey guys. Oh. Gift time. Here we are. Oh! Thank you. Yes! Oh my god, listen, I'll take the reprieve. I'll take the reprieve from the makeup to see whatever this gift is. Boobies. So here it is. Oh, you can shake it. Just open it! You know what? You don't even have to sit there and try to shake it and guess what it is because it's you literally have permission to open it. So just open it, bestie. I usually don't jingle jangle my gifts. You do too. But I jingle. You both have done it like every fucking day, bestie. Don't don't act like I haven't been watching every single vlogmas video. Jingle this time. Wait, let's have them see it before I do. Okay. Oh, it's a fucking light break! It's a fucking light bright! Oh my god, I did love those when I was a kid. I loved that shit so much as a kid. I did have one, and it was everything. It's a my childhood. Child regression. Child regression. If we get another speech about child regression, or whatever, <laughs> I just like... Ugh. Oh! Right, baby. Baby. If you guys knew the backstory behind this, a if, family member of hers, who she's close to, sent her um, this uh -huh. just randomly, like a couple months ago, yeah. in the mail, and said, "Here's a little piece of your childhood." So she wanted to share it with me. That is so sweet. So what you're telling me is y'all already have one in your home that you could just play with already but you said we gotta have two we each gotta have our own <laughs> all right bestie whatever you say bestie i forgot what i look like until i just looked at the viewfinder guess who didn't forget what you look like me today though is the one day i'll allow because you do not normally look like this are you trying to say you look rough you, i don't look rough baby is that what you're trying to say you just use the word is, is wifey trying to say she looks rough <laughs> As wifey, listen, even if wifey was, it's something that Amber Lynn literally just said about herself in a video yesterday, so I think that's fine. So, I have girlfriend goals. Do you? She literally went and got me makeup remover. Okay. She picked up my medicine from the pharmacy. Wow. She took my scratch-offs because I, I made 89 and got me more. So oh, per per perfect. Perfect, though. <laughs> Perfect that we got more scratch-offs, but we're certainly not gonna get addicted. Also, how is she gonna be like girlfriend goals? Like all at least Destiny and Becky definitely did shit like this for her all the time. All the time. <laughs> this ain't nothing new. Wifey's just finally living up to her true potential as a girlfriend. And then from Shake Shack, got me some fries. Oh That's perfect. All. Just some fries. Oh, great. Some Stunning. And a I do love Shake Shack, just for, for the record, for what it's worth. Diet Coke. Oh, good I'm Diet Coke. I'm going to take this off. Wow. Did you I just, tell them what you gave me out of 10? I gave her a 4 out of 10. I just don't feel at my best. But you did good. I already want you to do it again. 
You did great. I don't feel like I'm at my best and I did rate you four out of a 10, but you did great, wifey. Wifey, it was amazing. It was everything. I wanna do your makeup. You, you can do her makeup and then not show us literally anything because we're not allowed to see her face. Girlfriend goals. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Okay, so we have- I, I need somebody and certainly not me. <laughs> certainly not me, but I need somebody to go count how many fucking babies have happened in this video because she's laying it on real fucking thick this video. Real fucking thick. The two of them. Both of them. Baby, 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 baby. I'm gonna malfunction. A little bit more Christmas shopping that I have to do for my family. We're about to do that. I'm just gonna get me a sweater. Oh, I was like, are you going into your personal closet to shop for them? But you're going to put on a sweater, okay? <laughs> gotcha. Put on. We're going with Barbie. Perfect. Barbie, 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 Barbie. We're going into Big Lots. I've not been here in years. I'm excited. Well, here we are. Here we fucking go. So I'm in the perfume aisle and there's this little thing where it says if you scratch this, you can smell it. I've never seen something like that before. You've never seen anything like that before and yet you just wanted to convince us that you go out all the time. <laughs> Like the only place you go are stores. How have you never seen a scratch and sniff sticker before? Creepy or cute? I think cute. Feline thinks creepy. Can you imagine him on our island? Better it's buy sweet. it. Better buy it. No. I don't think it's <laughs> so creepy no. or cute, to be honest. I don't, I don't think those are the only two options. Creepy and cute. It, it's just a Santa. That's all it is. <laughs> now at Burlington, because if you guys remember, we tried to come here. In Louisville, though, the other night, and we didn't get to. So, we are here now, and yeah, the vibe <clears throat> is vibing, folks. Oh, we're what vibing. A vibe. Catch a vibe. What? What? What exactly is the vibe? What would you call the vibe right now? Okay, so we just got home. I do have a hall moment situation. Oh, to thank feel. God. Oh, hi, Twonk. Hi, Twonk. All right, we'll do big lots first. Since that's where we went first. Flame got some cotton swabs. I did end up getting the perfume okay. that I wanted. It's Blush by Kenneth Cole. Then I got some Christmas decor. I just got this glass, Santa's milk. Such mm. a cute decoration for my kitchen for Christmas. So the cute. first gift I got Feline was a calendar where every day she has a new dog. So I got me one, but every day oh. I'm gonna have a would you rather Oh Question. thank so, Oh thank God so she can start putting that in her fucking vlogs. Jesus Christ. That was actually something similar that Pink Sparkles when I reacted to her last week. Pink Sparkles had a daily calendar where I can't even remember what it was now. It was like some kind of quote or joke. I think it was a dad joke or something. Either way, I'm like, oh, this is why Amberlynn thinks it's acceptable to subject me to this kind of stuff every day, every time she buys a new one of these things, and then we'll forget about it inevitably in two weeks. So there's some examples in the back. Would you rather bathe in dishwasher or wash dishes in bath water? I would rather wash my dishes in bath water. Would you rather have your diary read why? by someone else or have your text messages read by someone can else? Can you can you give some context for that answer? That's the fun part of it. I would like to know more about why you would rather wash your dishes with bath water. If the someone else is fleeing, take my phone, man. Would you rather have a dog with a cat's personality or have a cat with a dog's personality? Well, I I have a dog with a cat's personality that's Judy. She just slinks around, lounges around, mostly doesn't want people to bother her. And then Burlington playing got this super cute hat. I guess. Because she loves wearing hats. <laughs> Perfect. And she's also a shoe gal. I am so aware. She Sneaker game strong. Got these shoes. The brand is Adidas. Adidas. Thank you. Wow, actually I'm obsessed with these. I'm so obsessed. Oh my god, these are gonna look so good on her. I got this super freaking cute Christmas pillow. Okay. It says Merry Christmas. And it has these little pom-poms. And then 
Christmas. Okay, she need, doesn't she already have like two Christmas pillows? Didn't we see her adjusting those at the beginning of this video? Last but not least, definitely not least, two what is of these freaking adorable pillows. Oh wow. Oh my god. See. Look at how freaking cute. <laughs> see, here's the problem I have is that I already, like I literally, Noel bought all these thorough pillows for her couch and I'm like, we just simply do not need this many pillows. Like. I'm constantly moving them off the couch so I can get comfortable moving them around the couch, moving them onto the floor of the couch. The dogs are knocking them off the couch. It's just like, we do not need that. Like, why, why, why? Why do, why do throw pillows? Just why do they? Like, I I know some of y'all are like, no, Zach, I love my throw pillars and my pillars. <laughs> Wifey, stop looking over my shoulder while I film this reaction video. But you know what I'm saying, right? Oh, I'm obsessed. So the living room's a little bit of a mess. <laughs> it's been a mess, but girl. Messes do get cleaned. Do no they? Worry, but I'm so excited. That, I want to set my. Is that still your torrid sitting on the couch? You just gonna throw your Christmas pillows on top of them? My pillows. Just put it right on top of Torrid Mountain. It's more of a, a molehill right now, but I'm sure I'm sure it's gonna become a mountain soon enough. Oh my god, these are so cute. Oh, I'm obsessed. This can go with the exercise equipment. We do have exercise equipment. Be shocked. Where? And then the stool. Where is the exercise equipment and when have you shown us using it? I'm gonna fold this blanket. If you wanna help me fold this. Mm -hmm. I need to find a new shoe rack because I keep acquiring new shoes. <laughs> yes, you do need a new one. Or another one. Oh my God, I'm always stuck at this. You're doing it too fast for me. Baby, I'm fast at everything. I can't keep up. What are you? Wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. First of all, what are you fast at? You're not fast at anything. But second of all, I need to re -hear, hear that. Make sure I. You're doing it too fast for me. Baby, I'm fast at everything. I can't keep up. You're faster. What do you mean? Oh, I do come fast. <gasps> oh, why? Oh, why? Why, 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 why do these two adult women want us all to know that they have sex and come? Why? <laughs> See, here's the thing. I have sex. I, it, it, people have sex. There's no problem having sex. But these two, as I have talked about at length in just today's video, like have the most uncomfortable, awkward, disingenuous, Splenda, super fake, sugary, sweet relationship on camera. And it's just like everything they do is just to like be over the top about everything and then it's just like then I'm thinking about like you say all this and then you talk about how you got so uncomfortable because allegedly Becky proposed to you with your ring on a vibrator <laughs> like I don't know why my mind is thinking back to that and to think about just how uncomfortable she allegedly was from this situation but then it's like, you want to talk openly about, ugh, listen, I don't want to sex shame anybody. Live your fucking sexiest, sluttiest, sex-filled life, truly. I just like, you're, I'm literally trying to watch your, your holiday shopping and you fold this fucking sheet. And then you want to talk about how fast you come. How fast you came. So now this is a pissing and shitting and farting and coming channel. <laughs> All right, you know what? Maybe I just, maybe what I really just need to do is just lean into it. What I really need to do is just lean the fuck into it. Give me, give me a play-by-play -play detailed account of the last time you did it. Just tell, let's just go there. Let's just do it. You love me. Come here, Z. Come here, Z. Come here, Z, baby. Come here, Z. I love you. Yes. And then I still have all my Torrid clothes sitting here. <laughs> reminder. Remind. 
Amber Lynn grabbing wifey's ass is a part of you leaning into this, okay? Just let it go, let it be. Let Amber Lynn grab that ass. Just let it happen. Day 11, Plato advent calendar. And we have, I don't think that goes to today. We have purple, whoops. This is the best thing I have gotten so far. All right, so that is what I came up with today. <laughs> so I made it to where, <laughs> this is the deer and he's wearing a Santa hat. You're so creative. On the antler. <laughs> you want your toys here? Say mama, not gonna lie. I would get it for her, but my legs hurt. So okay. something about lipedema, which I want to share with you guys, I guess is when you do a lot of movement, like uh -huh. a lot of walking, a lot of car sitting, anything that makes your legs swell, your legs begin to hurt and they begin to feel like dead weight. They begin to feel extremely heavy, like they just don't want to move and okay. it's also painful. Okay. And that started happening tonight. This has happened before, but I noticed just as the time goes on and as it progresses, it does feel like it's getting a little bit worse and it's not gonna, it's, it, honestly, it's not gonna stop me from living my life. Okay, please don't, but also you have a doctor. You have a lipedema specialist. Go talk to them, ask them for advice. I am more than capable of knowing when it can roll me and when it can't. I understand that I need to be resting, so that is why I am. Rarity, we can handle cat toy later. If I wanna go out, shop for gifts for my family. I need to go run errands. I need uh -huh. to go to appointments. I need uh -huh. to get up, do movement, uh -huh. do a little bit of exercise. Clean, clean, clean. I love cleaning. I don't know if you guys know that about me. That's something I enjoy doing. <laughs> you, you clearly love cleaning. That's why your, <laughs> your living room was just filled with not cleanliness. Therapeutic. I'm thinking about doing a, uh, a Vlogmas video. By the way, tell me what you guys think about this. Sorry, it's just my brain is going like through a bunch of different topics. I want to vlog things I don't normally vlog. It's please. things that I do daily. Please vlog some shit you don't normally vlog. Please, that's all. <laughs> please, I think people would love that. Or pretty much daily and it's just things I don't vlog. So the concept is like vlogging things I don't normally vlog challenge. <laughs> It's not really a challenge, but it's just, there's so many things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis that I'm not vlogging, things uh -huh. that I just don't think to vlog. I just thought it would be a cool concept. Um, vlogging things I don't normally vlog. Then do so, it! If you guys are interested in that, let me know. There's like a lot of things that just I do on do a day-to-day -day basis. Just do that it. People also say, why don't you do this? Why don't you do it? And it's like, I do do it, I just don't vlog it. Then, Anyways, back then to my legs. let's vlog so it. Short, what I'm trying to say is, the pain I'm feeling in my legs is kind of overpowering the want and need to get up and get the cat toy. Ramados, do you forgive me though? Do you still love me? Yeah. Like, why does she talk to Rarity with the same voice as she talks to fucking Wifey? See, that's that's the part that gets me about about Wifey and Amber Lynn. Y'all, there's a conspiracy going on that I, uh... I'm pre-recording Vlogmases. You guys, you give me too much credit. I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> I've, I've been telling y'all that. I've been saying that. <laughs> I've been saying it's just almost everything that Amber Lynn does could be accredited to her own laziness, to be honest with you. Snackity snack snack. Ooh. Yes. Popables. Yeah, so popables. It is frozen. Greek yogurt. I'm familiar with these because you full on bought a whole bunch of these little shits a long time ago and then threw them all away. And threw them all away because you're like, I can't have these in my house. I'm throwing them all away. And yet here we are. <laughs> and yet here we are. <laughs> I have sea salt caramel and coffee. They're both 50 calories each. As for... Weight Watcher points. Random facts. A whole serving is this box. Random fact. That's <laughs> just a random fact for you guys. Just a I random just fact. I just have like two, I'm gonna be honest. There's a rare time I'll have just one, but <laughs> yeah, right. So for the whole box, it's 20 points. And for the whole box is only 310 calories. I also saw some comments of people are like, so how many 
calories per point. That's not how Weight Watchers works. For one popable though, which is what I'm curious about, is three points. If I was to have two, it would be seven points. So for both of these boxes, it's 40 points, which puts you at 620 points. So if we want to get, or calories, sorry. If we want to get more into detail, for four of these is 80 points, which would only be about, it would be below 1300 calories. So it's all about what you're choosing to eat. All of this like math and mathing over points and calories and shit like that. It's just like, this why this is all so stupid. <laughs> so why this is all, this is all just so dumb. Like Weight Watchers points are literally made up. Calories are like a real thing. <laughs> I do want to give you guys another weight loss surgery update. I forgot to give that to you guys yesterday. How could there possibly be an update when you haven't even gone to this fucking doctor? But I got an email yesterday, which was Friday, from the weight loss clinic place. And uh, I was so excited because like I'd be searching my email constantly. And I was like, yes, an email from them. I thought it was going to be, when do you want to schedule your appointment? <laughs> Maybe that's not how it works. No, it was, okay, we got your registration patient packet and we're gonna look through it. This process takes weeks to months. Yeah, bestie. Yeah, chill the fuck out. The world doesn't revolve around you. They probably have a lot of patients that are coming to them that want weight loss surgery. Months. <gasps> I don't know what the <laughs> next update for that is gonna be. Yeah, but that for real was you. Wham. I'm just gonna be waiting patiently. Are you? As patient I, as I, I can be. It's I was like, like, you haven't been so patient in just in the last 30 seconds of this video. It's like one of those things where it's like, I know I have to be patient because there's nothing more I can do, but like you're slightly impatient because you're like, oh my God, I'm like so anxious for this, like in a good way, an excitement way, like you wanna get the ball rolling type of way. So now the ball, is officially in their court for the next weeks and months. I don't know, is it inappropriate? Like, yes. once- I don't even know what the fuck she's about to say, but I just know something inappropriate is about to come out of her mouth. Two months hit, if they haven't called me back, should I give them a ring, ring, ring? Um, Cause two months is a long time to wait. So. You don't even know if it's gonna be two months. You haven't even waited a week yet. <laughs> it hasn't even been a full week yet. Like, chill out, bestie. Because we all know also, you're gonna go have the meeting with the doctor. They're gonna tell you all these things you need to do. You're gonna do none of them. And it's gonna be a waste of everybody's time. So like, your time can be wasted for a little bit. Trust and believe it's okay if your time gets wasted a little bit right now. Oh, we'll see. Let's be patient. In two months, it's gonna be February 10th. Pretty much freaking Valentine's Day. Comment of the day. Damn, Rosalie, thank you for sharing the cake with us. That looks so much fun. Definitely inspires me to look if there's something like this in Ottawa where I am from. Thank you, Rosalie, for the comment. Rosalie, when you said cake, I was like uh, confused. I was like, maybe I'm forgetting something that happened in my vlog before and I'm like losing my mind. So I had to literally go back just now and skim my video and I was like, oh cave yes <laughs> the cave was phenomenally <laughs> amazingly you know what i was also confused because i was like i don't listen i don't remember what what cake existed <laughs> but she meant cave okay 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 spectacularly just so much fun like if you guys actually heard the real raw footage me and Pauline the whole time, oh my God, look, wow, this is so cool, wow. Like the whole time, like we were like cheesing, like it was so fun. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Wow, imagine showing us the real raw footage of what happened to, to show how genuinely fun it was. <laughs> imagine. This Vlogmas video and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas 12, bye. Ugh, bye. I'm not even listening to the full outro music. I'm just not. <laughs> I'm just not. I've been filming for almost an hour and 15 minutes. I'm good, besties. I'm good. I'm, it's time to go. It's time to go. I saw, heard, listened to, watched too much of Amberlynn and, and Wifey. 
I'm good. I'm good. I don't have any further comments. I hope their sex life continues to be everything they wanted and more. And that's that on that. That really is. I, I hope everybody has a great sex life that wants one, you know? You know what I'm saying? So anyways, that's all I have for today. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did and you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Also, make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media, including Twitch, including checking out my merch, including getting a cameo, whoever, whatever. It's all linked in the description box down below. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!